Hello world, Danny from here, back from the video, and today I'll be showing you how to do the torso. It's going to be a bit different than the last one, so you'll have to just watch this thing to figure it out. I'm going to go on ahead and... I don't really need this open anymore, so I'm just going to go on ahead and close this. What you want to do is, you mean increase this, then you increase this. Next, you're just going to go ahead and add your loop cuts. Three for, excuse me, three for the side, eleven going up, and seven going this way. And then same for this one. Then three here, and then boom. Now finally, we can do our stuff. Select this bone, the base, shift D it up to here. Forget to turn my shortcut, U, shortcut thing on again. Drag this up to here, shift D it, move this one over to this tab, subdivide this one, <coughs> call it chest, then relations, make it non-connected, and this one call it main body. Parent the main body to the base, and that'll make us so you get this. You're going to get over to here, you're going to rename this one torso stretch. You're gonna, <laughs> yes, I, I can spell. Extrude this one up. Then extrude this one down. One pixel each. R one hundred eighty. Alt R. Select this one. Shift select this. Select this one. Shift select this one. Control P. Keep offset. <clears throat> and then now, you can do some bendy bone stuff. After we parent this one up here, to the chest. You can keep it connected. Doesn't really matter. And we're gonna add ourselves a hip. R180, drag it down to here, rename it to hip, drag it up two pixels, and then in one. Then parent it to the main body. Then I go over to here, parent this bottom one to the hip. And then boom. Now for Benny Bones. Select this one, shift select this one, control shift C, stretch two, turn this off, zero, XZ. Go ahead and parent this thing to it. You can just you can either do one of two things. You can either search for it like this, or you can do what I'm gonna do and then just delete all groups. Or delete all the groups, add a new group, torso stretch. Then parent this, turn this on. We're doing the same one for this one. You can do it either way, you can either just search it up or do what I'm doing here. Only doing I'm doing this one here so that I can organize it more. But it's totally your choice. And now that we got this set up, you're seeing something like this. You want to parent the shoulders to this top bone. Next, you want to go over to Benny Bones. And whatever you call this bottom one, I'm going to make these both absolute by pressing to make it absolute. Whenever you, whenever you name this bone, this one goes to the bottom. And the other one goes to the top. So. That'll be torso torso one. There we go. And now boom, we got this, and we got this. This is better for like the female movements. Now for torso tweak. Since I already showed with this once, I'm just gonna do this this time. I'm gonna go over to here, change this into my dr to drivers. I'm gonna set this up for myself. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this, shift it over here, drag this one down one just so it looks different, we can organize it, and we name this one to Torso Tweak. If I can, if I can type, oh good grief, and we're just going to lock all these things. And so we have to do that, okay that's correct, go over to here, tap this one, and we're going to add some drivers to this, add driver for here. Just gonna make this thing say var average value. Let's look again. Goodness, goodness. Armature. Towards the tweak. Make this thing transform space z location. Now that we got this thing open up. We can go ahead and add our drivers. We can figure out how to use this one. Huh. Okay. So there should be something over here I can use. Yep. 
add modifier generator. So as I select this thing somehow, generator negative 0.75. I've actually never used this driver editor. I've always just done it with the actual driver editor. So this is um a bit new for me. <laughs> same for the same. I'm going to copy this one, paste it down here, change it to X location, and then make this thing positive. You can just press minus over it, but my, my, I'm not set up for that. And I clearly forgot to change this to X. No, I did. Weird. Okay. I must have added the wrong one. Yeah, I added the wrong one. Make this one negative. And this one not negative. There we go. And we can copy this one. Paste it down here. Make this one not negative. Paste this one down here. Keep it negative and then change this to the X location. Now that that's enough, I'm going to change this thing back to my outliner. Move this up over here and move this one over here. So it looks back to normal. And now, boom. Social tweak is now working. And now, as you can see, we got that all working. Now, for one last thing, I'm going to just be showing how to do breathe. You can skip this part if you want to. You can keep. You can go along with it if you want to. I'm showing how to do breathe. I'm going to select this one, the chest. Duplicate it out over here. Drag it down to here. I'll make it one pixel. Call that breathe or breath, whichever one you want to call it. And drag it up to about here. Yeah, at, yeah, here. Pant it to the. Pant it to the. Um, no, not there. I want to parent it to this bone right here. This way, whenever it just goes to the torso. When you want to lock everything except for this one right here, then you want to go over to limit location, sorry, your bone constraints, limit location, lock all these things, local space, negative two, positive two. Boom and boom. Next up, I'm going to delete this one because we don't need this for now. We're not going to need it actually again. We're going to go ahead and add a shape key. We're going to call this thing breathe. We're going to go ahead and give this a negative. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, grab all the ones right here, turn this on, S, hold control, and scale it up one. And then you can just kind of zoom in and out into whichever you want. I have the wrong version. So you want to grab this one. You want to get this basically however you want it. I'd say this is probably a good one. So you get this. If I turn the x-ray on, that is. And there we go. Now you get this whenever, he, whenever this happens. Go ahead and add a driver here. Var. Armature. Local space. Breathe. Let's open back up my drivers. Breathe. Let's see over here. A driver. Drag this up to here. Since this is when we want it to be at max, make it Y location. They go ahead and just delete all this stuff. And since now it's on Y location, you can see here it goes to, to 2. Change this to 5. As you can see, yeah, we got that working. And this looks terrible by itself. What you want to do is you want to do this. So this one, Control Shift C, transformation, five, five, for every boom, boom, and boom, boom, boom. You want to figure out which one you have, whichever one your up is. This is my up. Then just mess around with it till it looks good. So you can see this obviously too much. Less in half. And put this on to 0 0.03. It's subtle, but it looks good. Go ahead and change this to negative real quick. And now whenever he breathes, go ahead and duplicate these over here. And now we can duplicate this thing. Go over to our UV editor. Boom. Go ahead and get off this. Press this. Press this and get off of that. Drag this, turn this off, obviously, and then drag this down to here. 
And now we got our fully functioning torso with the breathe. I hope this was helpful. I don't know how I forgot to make that thing while location. I'm honestly mad at myself for that because that was so simple. I messed it up. All right. Hope you know this. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be doing more videos like this later. I hope you see. I hope you see. Hope to see you later. So uh, peace.